here from the Australian DeFi Association as well as the DSAI, Data Science and AI Association of Australia. I'm here with another Emerging Tech Pulse and today we're going to go through the news first of all in Web3 and then we're going to get into AI. So one of the first things that you're going to see is that we had a great episode last week in terms of the getting to know the community and project series. It was episode 30 and we had Drew Bradford there from Jelly C. He's a former Deutsche Bank and NAB TradFi person, but he's come into the Web3 space because he's seen the innovations and all the cool things that are going on in blockchain tech and sees it as the future. So definitely worth checking out there, especially if you're on the fence or if you're uh, not in Web3 or even those that are in Web3, just seeing that there's more and more people coming into this space that have been in banking and finance before. Really great interview. Check that out. It was also a week of major announcements in terms of meetups. So we were in Perth uh, a few weeks ago, actually, so the end of July. So we had Sydney and then we had uh, Perth and we are going back to Perth. So the awesome folks over there, Kat Dunn, uh, Tracy Plowman and the folks at Bamboo, we're going to do another meetup. So check your calendars for the 31st. You can see it on the links here. And then we're also going to be in Sydney and Melbourne this month. So I'll be flying to Melbourne on the 17th to run a meetup there with our friends at Greythorn. We've got a really great show ahead of us. Uh, we've got different folks like Arez from Stables is going to be there. We've got the folks from Cointree and we've got a real good, uh, really good one with um, Anthony Sassano. So there's a real coup uh, there. We, we get to talk to the man himself the guy from Daily Gway, a lot of you folks will know him from there. He was at the Digital Asset Conference a few weeks ago. So it was great to see him uh, over here in Sydney, but he'll be with us in Melbourne. He's gonna do an AMA, so definitely worth checking that out. And then it's the 23rd. So the 23rd of August will be at Stone and Chalk. So that is our regular Sydney meetup. And you're gonna hear from some awesome crew as well. So you're gonna see um, Stables there again. We're gonna have some folks that are doing some amazing things in the Web3 space. So you can see all of that in the uh, show notes here. So check that out. Another thing that came out this week was a comparison that we got to write wearing my not centralized hat. It was looking at blockchain and uh, remixing and reimagining and how it compares to hip hop. And you know, looking at, uh, you might have this as one of your favorite songs, but the Hilltop Hoods, how they remixed and reimagined a song from um, Mary Safka and that was turned into something really amazing that uh, people got to listen to the new stuff and then look back and see how great it was that uh, this was built on something that you know came out in the 60s so definitely worth checking that out um, you can see that here below but just talking about like the remixing and reimagining this is what we're doing in this space where taking the existing kind of tools that are out there because it's all open source we're remixing and reimagining those into something brand new so you might be doing it with a whole bunch of things in ai or web3 and uh, that's what the space is about it's not starting from scratch you know even looking at the existing things going on in tradfi or different areas of commerce that are issues you know the the thing that is going on there is that there are these gaps, there are these things that can be fixed, these inefficiencies, and we're trying to fix those or trying to at least improve those with these emerging technology tools. So worth checking that article out. It was also a week of movements and uh, some announcements. So we saw that Amy Rose, uh, who's been acting in this space already for the longest time, but she's finally been announced as the Chief Operating Officer over at Blockchain Australia. They've got a new CEO, so shout outs to Simon. Also, also shout outs to Amy Rose over there, who did a phenomenal job piecing together Blockchain Week. And that was an amazing event. And hopefully you were able to attend or at least see the recaps that we were able to write and what our community wrote there. But it's amazing to see that she's finally been put in uh, that position. So she made that announcement during the week. You might've missed that, but you can see the post here. Then there's also other announcements in terms of movements. We've got Karis, who was formerly of Binance here in Australia. She's over in Hong Kong now as Director of Capital Markets at Anamoka. So you might have heard of them. And if you haven't get out from under your rock, but yeah, she'll be over there. So when we, I get to go over there in Hong Kong later this year and anyone else that's traveling, make sure you reach out. And in other movements, we also saw Vicky Chan, who was over at Binance. She's made the move to OKX as their strategic operations manager. Congratulations to Vicky and team OKX. Speaking of podcasts, there's a really great one from our friends in Adelaide. So that's uh, Simon and we've also got Will, who I think he's in Sydney, but he might be traveling. Um, they do a great podcast called Blockcast and they had a great guest on the other day. 
uh, Yaakov Levin. So it's talking all about CFI and DeFi. They get into the weeds there. Definitely worth checking that one out. You can see the links here. Over into other news in the Web3 space, and we saw our friends at Upside Down make a major announcement opening up their membership club. So they've got great mentors there. We know a few of them, like uh, Greg Oakford that's working there. We've also got our own chapter lead, Leah Deshkin of Reinventure Group. She's over there working with those guys. And we'll be putting our hands up as well to see what we can do to help the community down there in Melbourne. So um, watch out for that one. If you missed it, you can see the links here. It was also great to see another podcast with a friend of ours, Samira Tolo. She was on the Decoding Crypto podcast, so definitely worth checking that one out. If you missed it, you can see it here. Then it was over to Ausbiz, and we could see our friend over at Digital X, Pratik Kala. He was on there talking about all things uh, Bitcoin and the price movements and all the great market stuff going on there. They do a lot of great research over there at Digital X, so make sure to check that out. And then finally, we leave you with this piece from LinkedIn. It's from Michael Nadeau, who you might see doing the DeFi report. He counters an argument that uh, people talk about uh, where has blockchain gone. His argument is that it never left. And when you look at his post, it's pretty compelling as to see why. So make sure to check that out and all the rest of the things in the newsletter that you would have seen this Monday subscribe to get that in your inbox and make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel and like and share so that we can get the numbers up now we'll go over to the ai news now let's head to the ai news for august 7th 2023 first up we saw our founder paul Cunningham head over to kuala lumpur for a conference over there so he got to speak with a lot of folk that were traveling in from not just around Malaysia, but also the rest of APAC. So it was really great to see the connections that are going on. You can see his LinkedIn post here. We also saw this post from our good friend Raymond Sun over at HSF. He does a lot of the stuff in terms of regulation. You might have even seen the global AI tracker that he built. This post that he's got on LinkedIn is more about uh, what AI is doing in terms of medical imaging. So this one is called Google Med Palm and it's a large multimodal generative model. So worth checking out that link here. We also have congratulations in order for one of our other directors, Michael Wang. He's been appointed as an lecturer over at CFA Societies. He's been a stalwart in the data science community. He's been head of data science at places like Creditor Watch, and we've hosted a number of events there for DSAI. So congratulations to Michael. And if you missed it this week, the folks over at Aura Ventures put out an AI generative landscape map and it's interactive. You can search for the different AI companies that are doing stuff in this space. And if you're like me, when you look at the map, there's definitely more than I thought going on in the Aussie space. So great to see. And thanks to Annie and Aura Ventures for putting that together. We also wanted to shout out to our friends at Cloud Tech Group and the folks that are sponsoring this awesome event called Web3 Hackfest. And I'm heading down for that. I'll be a guest a judge there and I'll see what's going on on that first day. And it's all about bringing the different tools and technologies to solve various problems. So it's not just Web3, it's not just AI, but it's a bit of both. So the Web3 Hackfest, make sure to check that out. We have tickets if anyone is interested as well. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. So some people that have maybe been a little bit too busy to uh, be able to see what is going on in the AI space, there's so much to catch up on. I mean, first of all, you can check out all the previous newsletters that we've got, but then you've also got things like these recap videos, as you can see here from AI Explained. They basically go through 11 major updates in the AI space. So even if you've missed something, there's so much momentum going on that uh, you can just play catch up pretty easily, whether it's with YouTube or reading things, there's so much, uh, basically a lot going on so check that out here another thing that might be interesting is that if you're interested in short courses there's this practical AI for students and teachers uh, basically it's a series of videos from Ethan and Lilac Moloch so a great set of content that you've got there and uh, if you're in the education space whether it's in government or you're in schools or you're just interested in education or even outside of that there's a lot that can be learned from seeing how they see these things as basically it's like a uh, teacher's assistants. Everyone gets their own teacher's assistant or students get their own personal tutor. There are amazing things happening there. You might've seen the uh, Sol Khan video as well from Khan Academy. He did a TED talk, I think that had a lot of this kind of stuff about like what the usage of AI can be like in education. So if that's a field that you fancy, then check that out here. And finally, we also saw a article out from one of our friends called uh, Michael Colo. He talks about the seven laws of generative AI startups. So it goes through 
all of the interesting things that you need to be mindful of if you're a startup in this AI space. So he's been doing a lot of things in terms of talking to businesses on strategy and just getting an understanding for folks that are in that finance space and other areas about how we can actually use AI strategically. So dispelling the myths, showing what's possible, great to see and you can check that out here. Anyway, that's it, folks, for another Emerging Tech Pulse. Um, yeah, every week we always put these out. So if you do want to read about the newsletters, then you can subscribe below. You can see DSAI for the AI Chronicles newsletter. And you can also go what's going on in the Web3 space with the Chain Reaction one from OzDefi Association. I'm Mark. I'll see you next week.